So we're gonna look at the Arctic Sun 5000. Pretty simple machine. Go over the pads first. So at, say you have a patient that's just gotten ROSC, you're gonna set your pads up. This is the medium ones. You pull them out of the packaging and uh, pull off the protective cover on the adhesive. There's gonna be four pads in here, two for the thigh and two for the back and the chest. So the back and the chest ones um, are gonna go on first and you're just gonna have to roll your patient, put the larger side there and there'll be instructions directly on each of the pads which side they go and where they go. Um, you're gonna then roll them back over and you'll put the pads on here. Do it again, you want one centimeter as it says here in between the pads on the back. Um, and then this is what it'll look like on the front side there. Um, you can put defib pads under the Arctic Sun pads, that's fine. Um, then you'll do the thighs. The thigh pads are a little bit different. They don't have the separator in the middle here like the ones up on the chest do. So you'll put them on the same way. There'll be instructions on which pad goes to which one. And then after everything's attached, you're just gonna plug it into the machine. So we're not gonna open the pads because they're really expensive, but on each of them, there's a blue side and there's a white side. You're just gonna line those up and plug them into here. Um, so there's six ports. Um, each of the four pads will, will plug into here. Um, once you have everything attached, and ready, you're gonna come around, once you have it plugged in, you're gonna come around to the back, hit the power button to on. The system's gonna start initializing and it'll take about 45 seconds to a minute to actually turn on. And once it's, uh, once it's on and it's done its system check, then it'll give you the home screen. You can select normothermic or hypothermic for treatment options, um, depending on what temperature you want your patient to be at. And um, so once it comes up, I'll show you how to do the initial stuff. We can't actually do any of the treatments because nothing's plugged in, but, and it won't let us, but um, we can look at the menu just a little bit. So it'll do a self-test. If you need to review how to do this, there is a new user instructions or a new user tutorial that you can do if you ever need to review anything for it. So say you want to induce hypothermia, so you have this, um, you would confirm it's a new patient and it'll give you this setup. So here you can select the water temperature that is going to be going into the pads. Um, here you can select the therapy, so if you wanted to go back to normothermic. Um, to cool the patient, you would just press start. It's going to give us an alarm because there's no temperature probe. So when you, so when you go to get the pads, there's also a box of these um, temperature probes. So give this to the nurse and they'll set this up for you. But um, on the back here, there's a wire right here so this connector plugs into that adapter that's going to be your temperature probe so the arctic sun needs that to monitor the patient's body temperature as it cools them um, and this is esophageal or rectal so if that is connected then you could you could start the treatment and it'll start cooling the patient um, when you're done with your treatment you would go to empty the pads here or if you needed to do a procedure that um, or say they were going to MRI or CT and, and you needed to stop it. Um, and then filling the reservoir. Um, if the reservoir is empty, I think that's something that CSR would do and we, we would never deal with that. Um, and then to stop the treatment, the stop button is over here. That's about it.